All right, we're a little bit outside of our normal area of exploration today, but I think you guys will like it. We're at a site where mining has been taking place for literally thousands of years. The uh, ancient Romans mined gold, silver, and copper here. And today I'll show you uh, some of their mines. And yes, actually, the remains are still there. You can still go inside an ancient Roman mine. And there was a modern mine here as well, as you can probably tell from the infrastructure you're seeing in front of me. There was a modern mine here as well that closed in 1966. But uh, there has been activity going on here for a long, long time. I'm just starting with these uh, buildings here. They're sort of on the edge. Got some tracks right here. Looks like some kind of junction or something. Uh, I'm just starting with these here on the edge. And I'm going to work my way inward from there. And I really don't know what we're seeing here. I'd love to be able to tell you guys what this was, but I'm not sure. Hopefully some of the viewers know more about mining than I do can uh, enlighten us. This was obviously intended for moving water around. To what end, I'm not sure yet. There's some kind of canal or something up here. So I'm up above those buildings now and there's that canyon thing there just wanted to see uh what was up here because i can see there was something up here and um you can see they were moving a lot of water through here for the mine still uh relatively intact that's cool. Looks like these are holding tanks. Also used to seeing wood and things like that intact. Yeah, that's another view. Good stuff. We'll uh, go dive deeper now into the other buildings and things like that here show you guys some of the shafts and uh adits from the ancient romans see some of the uh stonework and stone buildings and such here and then a lot more buildings you know and such over here i can see some smokestacks and such as well So there's the head frame right there. I should say there's a head frame right there. It's a more modern head frame. And then I thought this was kind of cool. We've got these uh, ruins here in front of me. I'll look around and see if there's anything cool down there. And if there is, I'll put it in the video. But in the meantime, let's go check out this head frame. So there is the head frame. And looks like this was a vertical shaft. There's the hoist house over there. Got a peek over there in a minute. Okay, no surprise. See it capped, given a mine of this size. A 
little open spot here. I can see water down there. I don't know if this is coming across in the video, but I can see water down there. And then you can see uh, where the carts would have been lowered and raised. Just gonna go check out this hoist house real quick. I doubt there's any equipment left, but you never know. Nah, it looks like all left here are fucking blackberries. Would have been something to see this in this day though. That's a uh, pretty serious head frame. So this is a view from the other side of that shaft. That's filming over there earlier. And the other Roman mine up these cliffs somewhere I gotta scramble around and find I could see on the other side but I can't see it from where I am now so I'm going along looking for that uh, Roman mine and I happened to look over here because I was looking for a way up to the next level and I saw these steps carved in the side of the uh, cliff here which is pretty cool so I will uh, follow that up that could well be a Roman work because that looks really old so I will uh follow what I presume to be the work of the Romans and see if it goes to the uh, Roman mind. And I'm coming up on the first of one of those old Roman mines. And the portal is actually still open. You know, our normal area, portal 100 years old, 100 years old, be eroded shut. This one's 2,000 years old, still open. So, go figure. Although it does look like it's pretty eroded inside. You can see all the material here filling up the attic. Let's uh, take a peek up here. Oh man, it looks like it's eroded almost to the very top up there. Um, that's too bad. Well, I'm going to scramble up there and see if that does indeed go to the top. So, stand by. Okay, I've gone a little bit farther, and um, unfortunately, I don't know if you guys can see or not, but it is completely backfilled to the top of the uh, mine back there a little ways. So unfortunately, this is as far as I'm going to go. But I did think it was kind of cool in that you can see the uh, pick marks and such from the uh, ancient Romans, which is, uh, at least I think that's really cool. See him in the side of the. Uh, well, hopefully you can see him in the side of the tunnel here. Very cool. There's a better view of some of those Roman pick marks I was talking about. I say Roman, but it's actually probably Roman slaves. Good stuff. Okay, I've got a feeling that Roman mine is right here. It is. Ah. This is what I would call a prospect, and I think it would be universally agreed as a prospect. You can see they uh, fall a little bit of ore up there, and uh, clean this out, and uh, I guess it wasn't very good stuff because they uh, didn't pursue it farther. So there's the view out toward the shaft. Obviously the Romans didn't have that view. 
and we'll carry on. Okay, so these were the railway workhouses. There were, um, I read, more than 30 locomotives working here at any one time, and they actually built more than three locomotives here through all these uh, workshops. And this was uh, obviously one of those facilities because guys would go down there to uh, access the underneath of the locomotives. Some sort of uh, power plant right there with a couple of storks nesting on top. Keeping an eye on things. And I can see the giant ore bin through these arches here. And that, according to the map, is supposed to be a pretty impressive structure. And I can actually see from here that it's an impressive structure. So we will go check that out. Okay, so as I mentioned, this is an ore bin, and the biggest ore bin I've ever seen, actually. And there are an astonishing number of bolts reinforcing the side of this thing. Look at all those up there. These others have them, too. You can see a suggestion of some of the timbers and such used to be on here. I've seen a picture of this and there's actually a wooden structure up on top, but of course that's long gone. This could be the remains of it at my feet actually. Here's a look, look up into the structure itself. I'm assuming those were some type of gate that uh, would control the flow of ore into the, the chute here. So. To put this in perspective, that uh, main shaft over there, and the way it would work, I've seen a picture of this, so I know what I'm talking about here for once. The way that would work is train cars would pull the ore out of the mine. There are, I'll show you in a minute, but there are portals that lead down into the shaft there, and Rail um, locomotives would pull the ore up out of the mine to this uh, ore bin here where it would then be sorted and distributed from there. I'll go over there and give you a better shot of what I'm talking about. Okay, so what I'm standing on now is actually part of a ramp that used to run all the way up along here the top of the ore bin there and like I said it was sorted and distributed from there I can see the uh, stack of the power plant in the background there and like I said standing on the remains of the ramp and this area here is one of portals unfortunately bricked up as you can see so you had one set of tracks coming out of the portal there and uh, running up the ramp here to the orb in there I'm actually standing uh, where another railway was um, this opening here actually leads into the main shaft and uh, there was a railway that hauled ore from the uh, the open pit area along here 
over to the ore bin. I'll show you how that works in a second. But this is the back side of that ore bin. And you can see those. Hopefully you can see. This vice is there. And they would physically lift the ore up into the bin if it was coming out of the, uh, the open pit. It would lift it up from this side. Okay, so there was the uh, the more modern shaft behind me. There's the ramp and the portal right there. And then just beyond it was the railway coming from the open pit. But just under the fields left out, there was another portal right there. Okay, hiking down to this one. This is really cool. There's actually a uh, plaque over the entrance. It says Aberto, which means open or opened it's June 10th, 1864. So that's cool. You don't see anything like that very often. And then uh, here it is. Somebody piled some rocks up there. Um, I'll see if I can take a peek in there with the camera. That's taller than I can look in, but if I hold the camera up, maybe you guys will see something. All right. I would be shocked if you guys could see much of anything. But uh, I can hear some rushing water in there. So I'm sure it's badly flooded, especially given the state of the, uh, the shaft, the main shaft, the pit that's full of water. Uh, but this is what the uh, portal looks like deeper inside. So hopefully you guys are getting a good view of something. Oh, okay, I'm back over by that massive ore bin. The... Uh portals in the shaft over there and I thought that we would uh, go check out the power plant that's up here that was that big stack you probably kept seeing in the background so we'll uh, go see what is to be seen up there not sure the best way to get in there I'm gonna have to poke around a bit see if I can figure this out Like get the bottom section through here. See lots of bits of pipe and things like that. Pretty cool looking stuff. Pushing farther in. I'm gonna get this, don't worry. I will get to the base of that stack. Another structure, I have no idea what it is. Okay, well I spotted this on my mission to get to the uh, main stack. It looks like there's some kind of smelter here, which is pretty cool. This had some heat go through here. right there but uh, look at those rocks are baked that's incredible pretty amazing stuff and I don't know if you can tell but that stack is right there <clears throat> take another look at this So it looks like these big sheets of metal were wrapped around them and that door is where they would feed in the uh, 
the fuel, whether it was coal or, or what, I'm not sure, but that's my speculation anyway. All right, trying to be clever, trying to come at it from all different directions. Looks like the easiest way, may, easiest way into the stack, maybe uh, just through the front right there. So much for trying to be clever, huh? Just go in the front door. Well, that is a serious front door too. Man, look at the size of that door. You see all the rivets in it. That's older. Man, that is very cool. And yeah, you just way to get the stack. Is right in the front door. All the pipes and stuff down there. Okay, I want to get down to the good stuff, so I came around the other side of that and uh, dropped into this heavily vegetated area. You can see here. There's a opening somewhere there. That's where I came down. Fortunately, I don't have my light with me, but that goes somewhere, obviously. You know, all kinds of, uh, there's another one right there. There's a the pipes and stuff over here. So I'll drop down there and uh, see if the view changes. This may have been uh, where the fuel for the furnace went in. I'm not sure, but. Regardless, accomplish our goal, get to the base of the stack. I don't know if you can see it on the camera now, but that goes back a few feet and then there's just a wall of dirt and ash or whatever sitting there. Pipe goes in here above my head. and such here. It's kind of cool to still see all the, the fittings and that kind of stuff. All right, so we're up above the mine now. You see the buildings, all the business there. And we found these weird squares with little piles of rocks in the center. And the Italian and I cannot figure out what they might've been for. That's the ravine we saw earlier, just stretching down for as far as you can see. Okay, there's another view of those weird square things that we didn't know what they were. Extending down here in front of us. And then, also it's hard to tell here, but also across this whole flat expanse here. But the primary purpose of this was to show you guys how big this waste rock pile is. We talk about big waste rock piles. I've never seen one this big before. There's a person right there. Give you a sense of how big this is. It's a pretty big waste rock pile, Lenora. Yes. 
exciting stuff, huh? That guy's jogging. Well, what better place to jog than on a waste rock pile? Interesting taste. Good taste, you mean. <laughs>